Hello! Today I'd like to do some more doodling with noodles. So we've done doodles with noodles before and I've just been doodling again and I have got oodles of noodles to doodle with here. As you can see, now noodles in my opinion are one and a half inch wide strips across the width of the fabric so they're quite long and like noodles really. And so uh, today I'm just going to show you a little idea we're just going to play today. I'm not sewing, but I've actually already prepared some noodles here for you. So I've cut out some strips. We've got all blues today with some white. I thought this looked nice and fresh and smart. So I've laid them all out here. So I've, I've laid them all. I'm going to cut them. So I'm just laying them so that I'm staggering the seams so that the seams are not sitting, sitting on top of each other. But I can slice through them all in one go. So today I'm just going to slice. I'm going to take off the selvage first. I'm using the board to help me line everything up. Things are sitting nice and straight. So I'm just going to trim off those selvages. And then I'm going to come along and just slice at two and a half inches. So I'll get a variety of blue and white pairs at two and a half inches. Now because the strips were one and a half inches to start with, sewn together they're going to give me a two and a half inch. So basically I'm going to end up with squares but two colour squares. So I'll just slice a few of these up and we'll just have a little play today. Um, and just with some little ideas that you might do with something as simple as these little strips. So that's probably enough to play with. You can continue on of course cutting the rest of the strips up. And so there were several little ideas that I thought you could do. One of them would be to play with these little tiny blocks and make some other blocks. So you can make kind of a pinwheely type thing which is quite cute. You could set them together or you could sash them. There's lots of so many different things that you can do. So we can continue on making some of those and they're quite cute. So another idea that I had uh, might be instead of doing them into little pinwheel blocks like that you could start in the centre. So I'm hoping I'm going to get this right. I thought you could have a little bit of fun here with a little um, s spiral we hope. It's going to come around and do a little something here. Is it going to do this? No, something's wrong. We'll just keep going till we get it right. That one's meant to go up in there. So hopefully you can see this spiral starting to form. Now that we've got the hang of where we're going. And you can just keep building that out. And I think that's kind of fun with all the different blues and things that I've got there. Um, I thought that would be quite a fun way to do things. Just for a change sometimes. You might build it right out or you might just do little bits and pieces. But it was really just, just to give you some ideas. I just think it's so much fun to play that I thought maybe everyone would like to play so I thought I'd help you play. So you can see this this spiral is really starting to develop and you can just kind of build that out and I think that would be um, really quite neat on the quilt. And then another idea that I had, um, just a quick idea would be um, just to bring these down and you just get the little zigzag thing going on here. If you alternate the direction of your blocks, you get this zigzaggy shape forming, which can be very effective too, especially in these, um, just in these two colours. Uh, even though we've got several different fabrics, just the two colours is really, I think, very appealing at times. It's not what you want for everything, but it's certainly quite a good idea just for trying a few different things out. So really the, the object of today was just to show you some little ideas of what you can do with something as simple as two little colours like that in a strip. And I have made a little uh, quilt top with the first idea that I showed you in quite different colours. I've used four different orangey reds and a white with a little coloured dot on it and I thought that was really cute. 
um, very appealing, but be very nice on a tabletop perhaps, or a wall, or anywhere really. And so we were just doodling today with these noodles, and that was just a little idea of just things that you might play around with. Um, I'm hoping that you'll start thinking about different layouts and different ideas because it's so much fun. You don't have to do just an expected thing. You can try out some different ideas. So that was our doodling with noodles today. Thank you.